we're going to kick things off with another one of our playthroughs. So we've now got all the courses published, which is really good news. Oh wait, I need to post a shout box, don't I? There we go. And what am I, what am I even doing? Way behind on sleep. Um, yeah, we're going to local match, and we're going to play the CSU course because. A load of them came out while I was away over the weekend. I'm not sure in what order. I'm just going to go by one from red, one from blue, and I figure I'm going to play badly on this course no matter what. So we might as well kick things off with it. Now, I'm going to dig up his comments. Because I think he filled in the form yesterday. Uh, yeah, of course, in Shaker Valley. Play from black tees, prevailing wind southeast at medium to high for tournament conditions. Let's go medium, I'm going to need some help. Um, front nine's the interior of the course, back nine's the outer expanded property acquired and designed later, so it has a bit more of a modern feel to it. Huh, fun. Medium's difficult, tough really, slash platinum, lovely. Based on Aronimink, Wind Foot, mixed of older courses in northeast to higher that are not famous. We've got a drivable path four, par three over 230 yards, <laughs> of course we do. Uh, four greens with two, within 200 yards and a template hole of your choice. Maiden green on the 13th. Excellent. I'm looking forward to this. I, it, I'm i a big fan of Dario courses. I, I know different people have different opinions. I, he does what he does really well and they always play brilliantly. It's just going to be tough. So we're going to go black and we're going to go pin two and he asked to make sure that I had crowds left on, which we do. So that's good news. So let's get this going. Oh, I did mean to load a chat widget thing, didn't I? So hopefully that's now there and chat would show. I don't know. Does it need to go there? I think that might be it. We'll see how it works. Yay! I've sorted the chat box. That's amazing. That makes me feel very happy. Whoops, not that one. No. Game capture lock and chat box. If we can move that. Someone on YouTube was asking why the chat box wasn't showing. And I didn't have a good answer, but now I do. It's because it was buried below the game and I'm an idiot. So there we go. Yeah, so we're going to go with into our little camera mode and let's zoom around. I mean, oh, people only buy blue, buy, yeah, no blue cars, green, red, red and white. I mean, you look at the, I did some zooming around for each of these for those little videos we did for Dream Team and this one, you kind of know what to expect with a Dario course, and they just feel very real. The off course stuff is always done really, really well. So, like, it does feel like a proper neighborhood. Like, you look at the stuff he's taken time to do. Yeah, I'm in awe of this stuff. I don't, I don't do this, this stuff well. It's really cool. And there'll always be this sort of fence around the golf course, which I like. It's just, like, kind of minimalist, but what just works new textures i think make this course absolutely pop hey a nitro we will try to play yours later it depends how i'm gonna do one from red one from blue one from red etc it depends how baby sleeps and kind of how awake i remain i like this a lot i mean very tree lined which i guess is going to be part of the charm i think my question is going to be how much these trees come into play but we'll see that as we go Tournament objects, obviously going to be a lot of fun, like little practice greens, cool. I, he knows a lot about what these sorts of courses look like, and they're just really good. So yeah, let's get going. I, I've, I have not had a lot of sleep, but it's fine. <laughs> ah yes, it's going to be one of these rounds. I mean, you know what you're going to get. Tough, tough green. 
Buddy, I've seen bits of your city area when I was doing the flyovers. I've got a lot to like there. Okay, so angles work. Like the more we are over this side and challenging this bunker, the better angle we're getting into that pin and avoiding this mean little slope here. Or we're hitting a fade into it. I mean, it's framed really well. And we've got a little starter's hut up there. I might have liked this moved a little bit further that way. It's dominating a touch, but we're good with it. Crowds definitely add to this. I mean, honestly, if I hit the fairway, it's a result. Huh. Sculpting's great. Um, I mean, he was posting work in progress pics of this a long time ago. And I... Yeah. I'm a big fan. The bunker shapes are really cool. The difference was usual, which I like. Okay, where do we want to miss? Is usually on a on a diary course. I think I can miss left. I can miss long. I can miss short. It's a mean little slope on this pin, isn't it? Ideally, we'd want to cut a fade in there, but I just I don't think I'm good enough. Hey, Dylan. Uh, sorry, I'm being a little bit slow on chat. Um, I mean, I don't love this pin. This feels a touch like a, nine, a TGC 19 pin. In the, we've got slope there, this little one. I'm not too fussed about this because part of that is the red box just not quite extending to the edge of the green. I don't know, the little tier in the top right feels perhaps a touch forced. Oh, hello, there's a swing. Right. That's as good as it's going to get today, fellas. But actually, having said I wasn't sure about this pin, part of me thinks that this is just... Hmm. I don't love the tiny tear up here. And like, if we're talking green puddling, we're definitely going to get some here. But I do think part of this is just like in 2K, maybe the colours show up a little bit more than... <laughs> it's an illusion. Yeah. Uh, what speed are we at? Oh, why are we at 187s? I thought you said he was publishing a members version. Or like a tour version. I can't remember which. Well now, this is going to be a tough ride. <coughs> hmm. I really like the hole. I'm just trying to decide what I think about this tree here. I think I'm okay with it. I just don't love the bunkers being beyond it, but I think that's a me thing. Bunker style. I don't know. That one feels maybe a touch different, but... It's also blind. Not a huge fan of the bunker being blind, but again, that might just be a me thing. Ah, uh, let's go and find one of the others. Ooh, friendly bounce. <laughs> oh, oh, we wanted to be left. Jeez. Okay. I'm glad I played this one as a warm-up. Uh, let's just try to hit the green, shall we? Right, leave an uphill part. I cannot be in the water. Do we go up on a 9-iron? I think we probably do. What I do like about this course is the centre of the green is not bad, and actually, so far at least. And you've got slopes to help you. I'm just interested to know where the four pins are going to be. So we've got one there, <laughs> teetering right on the brink. I imagine we're going to have one around here, one here, one here. But I guess you could, I mean, yeah. Depends if you turn the green speeds down. 
This was inspired by Quincy 11. Oh yeah, I can see it. The angles work really well. I can definitely see it. And he's done a little bit of the dual water plane trick down there, which works really nicely. Sculpting super smooth. I don't think he's watching now, but he might watch in, on the video on demand. And I think I've got chat going now, so. Let's see if that gets up there. Ah, I mean, two pars I will, I will take and run. It's nice to see him using some of the tawny extras. I mean, I guess. Ooh, I like this one. Ugh. I guess my main comment's going to be the greens. I feel like I'm doing well just to hit them, let alone hit the right spot. But, oh, Petty has got a really good, um, if he needs a major course, I could see this doing really well. <sighs> I'm just not good enough to hit these shots. <laughs> but, I really enjoy it. I, it's just fun. Okay. That's fine. I bet this is going to be the shortest par 3 on the course as well. So this one we now know is going up against Fritch a couple of times, I think. I can't remember who else. Uh, oh, it's not a bad effort. <sighs> I definitely don't think he's pinch driver too much. That's what I always, one of the things I'm always impressed by with his is that it's tricky without artificially tightening driver generally I mean we're Matty we're with three holes in let's not get ahead of ourselves yeah the matchups are great like so much fun and the trick with this sort of course is can you make it work for a full 18 and still feel varied oh I was hoping for a fast That's a well placed bunker. I think we can get a nine iron out of that. One five four. <sighs> I got so many shots in this gap. You do. I think Rhino is Rhino's very confident about you. No pressure. Oh, that's just an awful shot. Good layup then. Well, Matty, I'm going to blame you for this. Yeah, it's just dreadful. All Matty's fault. <laughs> That's alright, buddy. Either I haven't noticed. Have we done the fairway path? I have to zip around. This like fairway path going through tee boxes strikes me as something that hasn't happened on previous holes. It did happen there. Maybe it did and I just haven't noticed it. Oh, I don't know where I am. Uh, it does look consistent. Oh yeah, I don't really love it. It's maybe just because everything's in a straight line. It's kind of thrown me off a little bit. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. So you got. 
you can properly brighten it, I guess. I feel happier about this green. This one makes me feel like there's a chance, even when there definitely won't be. Oh, didn't put enough fade on it. It's a good tee shot. And it's a very well sculpted bunker. But I feel like I'm still okay with that if I've got 122. See, that's the Dario type bunker type we're more used to. Bunkers, maybe a little mix and match. I feel like we've had a a little bit of all so it's not like it's not too distracting I don't think it's a negative for me just they feel like they've been a bit different there's a shot come on we can get one back surely no we can't oh well I mean three four tap in pars I'll take ah this is our par three over 230 yards for this pin I'm okay with it. I think for the pin up here I am going to struggle with this hole. It's just like the force. Nah, it's a bit of a backstop, but... Because um, I'm assuming we're going to have one there, there, somewhere right front, maybe? Yeah, I mean you could funnel it in. Oh, has Wes, have Wes and uh, Matty got a match? I've not memorised them all yet. Jeez, into that, that win, this is tough. The sort of... The little subtler mounding around here I do really like. It's when it gets a bit too... The Rainer style mounding, where it's all really pronounced, doesn't fit my eye as much. I quite like this. I have, yeah. Today has been a long day, and there's no guarantee I'll get to do some of these later, and I need to get through them. Oh, sweet lord, this is a mean pin. The little... I mean, this is just mean. <laughs> I'm definitely debating his medium to... What was this? Medium difficulty? Medium to difficult, tougher elite slash platinum. Like, this feels like major difficulty. No? There's a part. <laughs> I don't know a Ronnie Mink that well. I do know that the bunkers... There's some cool bunkering stuff there. I'm gonna have to look this one up. Yeah, when the greens are when the greens are bigger, I really like the sloping. It's just interesting. Mm Feels like a must carry, and I mean, if there's one thing we take away from this stream, it's that I am nowhere near good enough to play this course. Yeah, Yoho. Yeho's back nine is not friendly. I, I discovered that one pretty easily. I do like this slope here is great. Just give me a little bit of a bailout. That's uh, not probably not going to make it. Me. Let's see. <laughs> that it doesn't. Yeah. I think I like that that's really close to being... There's a lot of margin for error on that recovery, but just can't be short. And in many ways, long is worse, because if you're facing that part... Yeah. But then I was in an awful position off the tee, so 
Should be. Hmm. That's a great leave. Needs to be short and right. Mm, Got to concentrate. I like that misses with a f <laughs> flipping flop shot matter. Okay. Yeah, I think my one of my my only real critiques that I have is that I don't love that we can't see some of the bunkers because they're hidden by trees. I guess you'd know that they were there, but if you're asking me to hit driver and carry a corner, I'd want to be able to see the trouble. Although, hmm. If you're hitting over the tree line, you know that that's bunkers. Maybe. Par 4, is it? Oof. That's just about made it. Camber into those bunkers is mean. Still, we've got a good ish approach. I feel like that's going to be too short and that's going to be too long. Again, green slope. It, I like this green a lot. The bunker string down the left is probably my favourite that we've done so far. Hmm. My son is not napping. We'll see how this goes. Oh, another perfect. No, oh, that's not enough. Well, damn. Hi, Dari. No worries. It's it seemed like the easiest course to warm up on. <laughs> I don't know. I just fancy playing this one. It's different to a lot of the ones we've got in the contest. And I always like yours, so. It's all actually been okay other than two holes. <laughs> uh, I remember taking... I wasn't sure if this was 9 or 18 when I was doing the fly-through videos. Oh, so this is our drivable par 4, I guess. Which, yeah, I guess it's drivable, theoretically. <laughs> Such a mean pin. Okay, so, as long as we're missing left, we're okay. But laying up, okay. Hmm, I feel like that's the option, isn't it? Hey, Rhino. Okay, so we're going to lay up on the wrong side of the fairway. That's fine. And we've got a camber in with us. Of course we do. Well, shit. Um, and now I've got a partial wedge that I definitely won't... Ooh. I am not going to make this. This isn't going to go well. Hey, Matt. So Matt and Dario seem to have drawn each other, which is a lot of fun. Oh, please come down that slope. It's still throwing my eye a little that ball stops on orange slopes. And that's the bad putt we expected.
That'll do. Rare to be happy with a three over front nine, but I'm genuinely delighted. Ah, we're back to the, like, kind of the first green pin, but a little bit different. We'll say the green slopes are creative. So this is this, is this the one that's the maiden, I believe? No, 13. This is just a fun matchup in that I don't think... There's no... Ooh! I like the planting down here. I don't really tend to talk about planting when I'm playing Dario courses. I just don't... like. It's immersive, but I don't really notice it. That I really like. Uh, that's really good. Yep, we'll have a look at 13 when we get there. So a little bunker string, but for this pin I definitely want to be on the outside as much as possible. But I guess for other pins, uh, for that pin you'd probably want to be on the outside. That pin, inside I guess, and I'm going to assume there's one tucked in here. I like the way the green slope has done, basically dictated where we want to play this a touch. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We found the right hand side. Yeah, light rough's fine. And the little front bunker's great. Deceptive bunkers are good. Oh, good, another five iron. <laughs> Jeez. Are we going to hit? Uh, might hit that swale. <laughs> and I appreciate that. You are unashamed about what you do. Like I did do it a bit at the beginning, you'd probably missed it, but the little real, like, off course elements work so well for me. Just seeing the skyscrapers at the top is a nice touch. I mean, I'm really interested to see the Matt CSU match. That's got got a lot of fun potential. Oh, pushed it. <laughs> He's your pick. It's okay, I'll find a hole, like... Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so we've now got, I think, two par threes that were over 230. Which one was I judging? Oh, uh, this one's two... T <laughs> this one's not our over 231. That one I felt was a bit too punchy, but... <laughs> this pin... Um... I mean... I guess the trick is to leave an uphill part, which shouldn't be too difficult actually. So whilst this looks really mean, it's maybe not as bad. I don't have the club. Partial five wood is not a shot I have in my locker. Oh, it was so close, and now I am just dead. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know if I can keep this ball on, on that tier. Hmm, here? It's a good thing we've played Big Cypress Little Dunes a lot. That's fine. Parts like that are fun, it's these ones that I hate. 
Yep. One for Matty and his bingo. Again, like planting, gorgeous. Little grasses mixed in work really nicely. I'm still not sold on the little light rough paths. That's the visually that's the one thing that's not quite in it for me. Oh, so we're now on the back nine, which you noted was like your more modern. Hmm, oh. we might have found a flat spot, sort of. Yeah, definitely getting Aronimic vibes from this bunkering. I don't really know. I just kind of feel like there's a lot of different shapes, but then I think that's basically it. I don't know it that well. Got nothing much to add on this hole. It's good. Please hit the back slope of the bunker. Shoot forward. That's all right. Oh, right, okay, of course. It was trying to give me an eight iron splash. <laughs> Dan Dan will love this. Ooh. I was going to say, of course, we're not making a birdie. Ah, okay. That makes more sense. I wasn't totally sure what you meant about the modern versus uh, older. That works. Probably difficult. I would have liked to have seen the water a little bit more. I think that front tee box kind of robs you of it, but you don't need to see it, it's not really hitting over it. There's Dario in World Cup as well, excellent. I get to play more dick punchy courses. I needed to hit a fade on this tee shot, I know that I'm not holding that, but I'm just, just not good enough. Ah, so this is our maiden. I guess it sort of is. I think it's a spin on a maiden rather than a pure maiden. Like in the sense that this is a bit of a spine rather than a plateau. And we've got definite plateau here. Maiden would be like two raised wings on either side. This one, I actually really like that it isn't. I think it works well. Oh, we're in heavy rough. Of course we are. Um, sandwich pitch? No. Maybe. Uh, probably not. No, that ain't making up. And the slow isn't helping. Phew, we made a little slippery putt. I do really like this hole because it's, that one's all about the green complex and just those slopes. <laughs> Your prevailing wind direction. You are a bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's definitely part of it. 
from that point of view, I'd have probably preferred this screen <laughs> from the let's go ultimate dick punch. I think I'd have preferred this screen if you lopped off this little bit here, like made us or act yeah. If you're going pure dick punch, you angle the green this way and you make people play as close to the water as possible. But I think for this one, I don't know. Now that I've said that, kind of like the idea that you can bomb it over. That's got to be out of bounds, yeah? Yep. Hmm. I mean, I shouldn't be tempted, but I really, really am. There's no way that makes it. I like how much I'm thinking over this tee shot. It's nicely done. Let's go and just miss the fairway with a five wood. Why not? Far off. <laughs> you pipe down west, we'll do yours next. Little lag city or whatever it's called. Haven't really mentioned it yet, but sculpting as ever is just really good. This little water side, that's pretty damn near perfect. Hmm. Another one of these. No, I think the issue is if you pl if you play it and stream. Five over. This is honestly better than I thought I would do. Huh. Green shape here feels out of place. It's the first time I've seen something I've just felt it looks wrong. I love the slopes on it though. It just kind of feels like we've gone to sort of rectangular territory. I know it isn't, but it gives that feel rather than the circular, like, yeah. And with this wind, I am. <laughs> cool grandstand framing. I do like the way we've used the pond twice on the same, like, two shots in a row. But in different ways, it's cool. Well, let's go find the water. Ooh! Okay. I will take. I've got no shot, but I will take that. Oh, what's the little building? Again, detail stuff there is really good. Little bits of planting by the water side is nice. You've just done your planting where you need to, and it works. And I don't have a whole lot of negative to say about this course. Horrific part. And let's just escape with a four and a hole. We were always going to get a four on. Solid six over. <laughs> this one feels a little too tight. On a short, on a short four, I might like the option to hit driver, even if it's a stupid play. Although I think you've given it on others, so no, that's okay. And I like this green because it's just one really simple slope. With that in mind, what sort of shot do we want in? Wedge? Probably. That would run out to... <sighs> I 
It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Oh no, we've sort of found light rough. Light rough's okay. We can deal with that. I mean, the little town area is great. I haven't even looked at where my shot's going because I'm too busy staring at that. I think that's my favourite. I think that's my favourite hole on the course, actually. I originally said I, w I, I was feeling off the tee that I wish it was opened up a little bit more, but actually, I don't think I do. I really like it. And just the fact that it's a very simple green works for me. I'm viewing this as I've had a number of holes so far. I've had 12 holes that have gone very, very well and I've made par. And I've got a few more that have gone as expected. Ooh. Okay. A little bit of a departure, but I like it. Um, that's not going to play well. Now that I've seen this, I wish you had done this more. I don't think I would have noticed, like... This is just a, a really, really good look. Green's great as well. Okay, 16 and 17 are really strong. Ah, there's a lucky shot. One of them had to pay off. <laughs> Finally, a hack out of heavy wrath comes to something. Oh man, 18's good as well. I, it's a really strong closing stretch. Okay, par 5. Not long. And we got a little bit of a punch ball. Just like for this pin. Tree line work and planting around the base is really, really good. Again. I okay. It's just hit a good shot, isn't it? Really good bunker framing down the left. Love that. I've no, I've got nothing bad to say about this tee shot. Well, it's definitely a three shot par five now. This one wasn't meant to be the three shot. Uh, were we meant to have a three shot five? No. Hey, there were four greens within 200 yards. I missed that. Which says that they were really well done. Mm, it's really good. Like, and the little clubhouse area is well, it, yeah, annoyingly well integrated. <laughs> and there's some nice extra. Uh, let's zoom around a bit. Yep, this stuff is well done. Uh, part of the steps are steep. Uh, all the wall is slightly peeking through, but that's all good. I was confused by this like Italian flag colours of cars but memory maybe would make sense so where are our four greens within 200 yards now that I'm looking here one two three four maybe guess it must be those four. Oh, 
Oh, this could be the club. It won't be because I'll hit it badly, but it could be. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Not even going to hit the green. Ah, perfect. And we've made a par, which I'm pretty damn happy about. Hey, I got a birdie! <coughs> um, I don't have a ton to say. Like, you do this style of course better than anyone. I feel like a couple of the pins were just in locations that maybe felt a tiny bit tricked up. I'm looking at the, that long par 3. I want to say 6th? The really long 3. Yeah, 6th. Um, but not much. Mm, yeah, quite, Job. Oh, buddy, no, it's been an absolute pleasure. These have been so much fun to play through. Uh, generally, just love the atmosphere. I felt occasionally maybe a little bit too tight with trees, but actually that was pretty, that was cohesive throughout. 16, 17, 18 were the best best stretch, and that's a really good closing stretch. It's just tough. I definitely, I definitely dispute your. Uh, what you've put on the form of it is medium slash difficult. This is difficult, um, and I reckon I reckon Petty could easily use this for a major if he needs one. Uh, I do not have many critiques. I think it would be really interesting to see how this shapes up against Matt or some of the others that have maybe gone. I I want to say a bit more visual heavy, but I think that's kind of unfair. What I would have loved maybe is that sort of planting that you brought in on 16 17 i'd have loved to have seen that sprinkled a little bit more throughout the course because that's really fucking good but hey love the course i i'm i'm a big fan of a course that's a, ch a challenge so suits me right down to the ground there's gonna be some fun fun matchups with that one involved right i'm gonna cut the stream and then we're gonna go back to little lag city for jw texan and back in a minute